And just as you were thinking that it couldn't get any worse, my Elgato 4KX is now no longer working whatsoever with my MacBook Pro M1 Max here after I have just updated it to macOS 14.5. So what I've got on the screen here is OBS open, but you're not going to see any pictures on there. I've got my PS5 all plugged in properly and all that stuff, but there is no picture getting to OBS and indeed OBS isn't even registering that the Elgato 4KX is actually on the system. Neither does the Elgato software either. However, the Mac itself seems to know that it's there. So let me just jump over to some screen capturing and show you what's going on here. Okay, so here I am on the desktop of my MacBook Pro M1 Max and it is extremely messy. Anyway, let me just get into the Elgato capture device utility app here. And as you can see, this is not picking up anything. So to be clear, not even Elgato's own software can see the 4KX. However, if I go to system information here, and if I come down to USB, as we will see here, there is the Elgato 4KX. So as you can clearly see, the Mac itself is identifying the hardware, and indeed it is seeing it as a 10 gigabits per second device. Now, the last time that the Elgato 4KX was seen by this particular computer on the previous version of Mac OS, it was set to 10 gigabits per second. So it would appear that the Mac is seeing it because there's its name, and it seems to remember, you know, what bit rate it was connected at the last time it was connected. So again, Again, to be doubly clear, the Elgato software does not see the interface, but the Mac is identifying it. Now, if I just jump into OBS here, I've got a scene here that I'm just going to try and build into. So what I'm going to do is just add, let's see, a video capture device. Now, if I go here, I'm just going to say, OK, let's get into the device settings. But there is no Elgato 4KX in here. So as you can see, OBS will not see it. Now, let me just come out of there. If I just delete that. Now, there is another way that we can add a capture device here. So let me come up to capture card device. See what happens here. I'll just click OK on that. Once again, the Elgato 4KX is not in there either. So definitely OBS will not see the 4KX. Now, let me just OK all that and come out of there. I will, in fact, I don't need to delete that. But what I'm going to do now is to add an audio input. So audio input there, I'll click OK. And let me just go up here. And as we can see, we can actually select the Elgato 4KX as far as an audio input source is concerned. We're not going to see any metering going on here because I don't actually have anything running at the moment through it. Um, but I'm going to assume that that is working. In fact, somebody in the comments to one of my other videos did say that they were still getting an audio signal but no video. So this would seem to suggest that that's what's going to happen on my system here. Actually, I have not shown you what version of Mac OS that I am on. What a naughty boy I am. Let me just come up here and go to about this Mac. As we can see here, I am on Mac OS Sonoma 14. 0.5. Anyways, I think what I've done here during this screen capture of my max output should be able to like show you quite categorically that the 4KX definitely is not working with Sonoma 14.5. So as far as an end summary is concerned, there really isn't much to say here other than, as I've just shown you, the Elgato 4KX now no longer works with my MacBook. Now here's the thing, I have already read read comments online, I've read comments in the descriptions to some of my videos where other people on different Apple Silicon Macs are saying the exact same thing. They've updated to 14.5 as far as Mac OS is concerned and then suddenly the Elgato 4KX is not being able to be seen by their computers as well. Now I'm going to go out on a limb here although I do not think that this is so far-fetched so my guess here is that the Elgato 4KX will not work with any Apple Silicon Mac 
that has got Mac OS 14.5 on it. And I think I'm pretty much safe in saying that because of all the other people who have said that having updated to 14.5, their 4KX no longer works with their Mac product. Anyways, and as you could clearly see during this video, not even Elgato's own software would pick up the 4KX. Now, I'm going to assume that because of that, that's why OBS doesn't see it either. However, the weird thing is, is that the Mac actually does see the hardware so I have not got a clue what's going on here I'm not going to hazard any guesses as to like who's to blame for any of this stuff because quite frankly and right now I simply do not care because this 4kx has been nothing but trouble since I bought it now as far as any advice is concerned the only thing that I can suggest is absolutely ludicrous and that is if you were getting anything that you were happy with out of your 4kx on your Apple Silicon Mac and you are still getting something out of it whether it even like you know that's the wrong color space or it's not using the correct video transport streams and stuff like that if you're okay with that stuff then my suggestion is do not upgrade your Mac OS. Now, I know that that sounds like a ridiculous suggestion, but right now, that will be the only way that, like, you, well, basically, you won't completely kill your 4KX. And when I say completely kill it, obviously, the 4KX isn't being damaged here, but it might as well be completely dead if you can't use it whatsoever on your Mac. Anyways, and luckily for me, I still have a Mac here that is on the previous Mac OS, and it does actually see the 4KX. So those are the videos that I was planning on doing where I was going to show you the way that the 4KX errors in other ways when it is supposedly working still. I will be able to still do that with this Mac Mini here. So for anybody interested in some of the other problems and errors that the 4KX does when it is on a, a working system, stay tuned to the channel because there will be more videos coming Coming up about the errors and the weird anomalies of the Elgato 4KX on Apple Silicon. Anyways, that should just about do it for this episode of WTF Elgato. And if you've liked the video, please do give us a thumbs up. A sub to the channel would be absolutely fabulous. In fact, if you're into this stuff to do with what's going on with the Elgato 4KX and you want to stay abreast of what is happening with it, and hopefully at some point it definitely works then you may want to sub to the channel anyway for the videos that i will be doing in the future about the 4kx i will also be doing a whole bunch of other stuff to do with video capture and obs specifically on apple silicon nothing to do with windows and stuff like that or x86 max but very specifically apple silicon anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now